In our previous video, we have seen some of the basic introduction to the BGP attributes categories like we got majorly four categories of attributes. We have well-known mandatory, well-known discretionary attributes, and then we have optional trans to and optional non trans to attributes. Now here in this video, we'll try to understand the three attributes. We'll try to understand these well-known mandatory attributes. And those three attributes are AS path, autonomous system path, and then next hop attribute and origin attribute. We call these three attributes are well-known and mandatory attributes. And the reason is whenever a BGP is going to advertise any network, it is also going to advertise the AS path information along with the BGP update. And also it is going to advertise the next hop information. And also it is going to advertise the origin information. And that's the reason we call them as well-known and mandatory attributes. Now let us try to understand one by one what is AS path attribute and what how it is going to how we can verify that so well-known attribute here is a well-known mandatory attribute now it is going to list of AS numbers through which the update is transversed which means the list of update like take an example here I got 10 dot network and 11 dot 11 dot network and 12 dot network which are belong to AS 2007 it's going from one of the router here and then advertise to the border router and this border router is advertising to another external router that is going to another autonomous system and this routing information is carried along with that update at the same time it is also carrying the AS path information from where it is coming and then it is passed on to the AS 200 routers all the routers inside that AS 200 and then the border router is going to pass on this information to another autonomous system number that is AS 2003 so when this border router is advertising it is going to advertise that 11 dot network along with AS path information here. You can see it is advertising this these networks are coming from 2007 and then coming from 2000 like that 200 like that. So let's take one example here. So take an example in my network I got this one AS let's give some name as AS 500 and then I got one more autonomous system number AS 600 and then we got some AS 700 and then autonomous system 800 so just a rough numbers I'm going to use I got four different autonomous system number and each and every autonomous system number is having some set of routers and then they are connected to another router here and then it is having some set of routers and then connecting to AS so this is the default way like when you're connecting to internet or when you're connecting between different autonomous system numbers your your network will be connecting to multiple atom system numbers and multiple ISPs like this. Now, let's take an example. This router, this router is going to advertise the 10 dot network. Now, when this router is going to advertise 10 dot network, it's going to advertise to this route, this side, and both the sides. Now, when it is going to advertise the 10 dot network, it is going to advertise with its own autonomous system number information, which means 500, and all the routers inside this will receive the update with 10 dot network with the AS number of 500 and this routers will automatically advertise to another AS and when it is going to advertise to other AS it is going to advertise with 10 dot network with AS 500 because initially it is starting from AS 500 and then reaching 600 which means now these routers inside the AS 700 will receive the update from this side with the 10 dot network with the AS path of 500 and 600 or we can say it's coming from 500 initially before that it was coming from uh, it was coming from 600 and then before that it was coming from 500 so similar way these routers these routers again they will receive the same information from this side also so let's take an example I got one network let's say there is a 10 door network so this network is advertised from this side and when it is advertising it is going to be only one AS 500 and the same update will be coming from this side also the other end and when it is coming from the other end it is coming from the same network 10 dot network is advertised and the AS path will be 700 first because it is receiving from 700 and before that it was coming from uh, 800 which is this AS number here and then it is coming from 500 so now these routers inside the AS 600 
is receiving the same route from multiple paths and, when, and every time when it is receiving the route it is going to receive the 10 dot network along with the AS path information. Now whenever a router re receives the same network from multiple paths and it is going to decide the best route by default BGP is going to decide the best route based on the autonomous system path information. Now AS path information and whichever the route is having the less AS hops that route will be considered as the best route. Now in our scenario I am receiving the route from this side with only one AS hop whereas I am receiving from here with three AS hops. So this AS hops is similar to your RIP metric whereas in RIP we consider a metric in terms of number of hop counts but here the hops will be number of AS hops, number of autonomous system numbers and it doesn't make difference how many routers you have inside that AS. But when we receive the route from here it is only one AS when I'm receiving from the other end it is three A's. Now by default our router will decide the best route to reach that network. This will be considered the best route because it is just having one AS hop. So anyway best path manipulation we'll see more in detail in our next videos. But by default whenever any router, any route which is going to be advertised to any other routers it is going to advertise with autonomous system path information and how many autonomous system numbers it is crossing based on this this AS path will be uh, incremented automatically as it moves on between different autonomous system numbers. Now it is a well known and mandatory attribute because whenever a BGP advertises any network it's going to pass on that information of multiple uh, whatever the autonomous system path it has been moving. So that's what AS path and by default whichever the route is having the least number of AS paths that route will be considered as the best route in general unless you do some other at uh, use some other attributes like be weight or local preference so so we're not getting into complete BGP path selection process we are just trying to understand here what is AS path attribute and and how we can verify that to verify this we can use show IP BGP command I will show you when in the lab here the next attribute we'll see is the next top attribute now next top attribute is there's nothing much to discuss because we already discussed much in detail about the next stop behavior in our previous videos. If you remember, we have used next stop self commands because by default, when an IBGP sends an update to another IBGP, it is not going to change the next stop. The next stop remains the same, and when any update is sent to EBGP, when it is sending any update to EBGP, it is going to change the next stop or add the next stop address like if you remember we have seen that in a separate video the next stop behavior but I'll quickly give you some idea on it so let's take an example router A is advertising some network 172.16. network is getting advertised to B and B is going to receive this 172.16.00 network and it is going to write the next stop address as A address which means whatever the IP address. Now when router A B is going to advertise the same update to its internal BGP neighbors, it is going to advertise with the same network ID, but the next stop address remains the same because when an update sent within the same AS, it's not going to change the next stop, the next stop remains the same. And to change this behavior we can we can write a command called next stop self. So that is something we have already seen in our previous videos. The next stop is not your next router. The next stop is nothing but your next uh, IP to reach the next autonomous system number. And when BGP is carrying the BGP update, it is also carrying this network information also along with the update. Which means now when BGP is going to advertise, when BGP advertises any network, it is going to advertise the network along with AS path information from where it is coming. In our scenario it is AS464520 this one and then it is also going to pass on the next stop information also. So now these two attributes AS path and next stop are well known and mandatory attributes in the BGP so which means they will be carried along with a BGP update. So next attribute, next well-known and mandatory attribute we need to understand is your origin attribute. 
now these three attributes as path origin and next hop are well known and mandatory attributes now origin defines from where the route is actually got introduced into your bgp routing table or bgb table like there are three types of outputs you'll find when you use when you when you when you go, when you use show ip bgp command you will see i'll show you this in short uh, now when when we verify the outputs here now basically you got three types of outputs you got something called i which is nothing but igp now whenever you advertise let's say my router is receiving some network let's say 10 dot network and it is receiving something like this so it is receiving 10 dot network is received it's coming from as 500 and then reaching to my a 600 so now this is your as path information and then at the end you will find some code either it will be i or it can be uh, it can be a question mark now when you see i here it represents that this route is advertised in bgp which means some router somewhere somewhere any one of the router has advertised that network in your ig in your bgp like here in our example here this 10 dot network is coming from as 500 800 700 and then you'll see something called i in the end when you see i in the end of as path information we need to understand that some router which means in our scenario this as 500 is advertising this 10 dot network in bgp using bgp network command which means it's a it's a route originated by bgp and when you see question mark here instead of i if you see question mark incomplete generally we call them as it means that this route is learned from so the first thing you'll see i when you see i this network is advertised in bgp network command somewhere and then when you see question mark you have to understand that it's not advertised in bgp but it's advertised in some other protocol other routing protocol other than bgp maybe your rip or ehrp it can be ospf it can be static any other routing but it got redistributed into the bgp which means so these outputs are similar to if you compare with your igp this is more like your ospf routes and this is more like your external routes if you compare with ospf so this this is what it says so when you see question mark you have to understand that uh, how the route is originated it's originated through redistribution into bgp it's not advertised in bgp advertised by some other protocol or it can be a connected interface but it got redistributed into bgp and you'll see something called e one more code the third code whenever you see e you have to understand if you receive any route from older version of bgp like the older version of bgp was called as egp extra gateway uh, extra gateway protocol which is no more so when you see a code of e which means you're learning the bgp route from an older version of bgp now these are the three different codes which you'll find when you are uh, when you are using uh, bgp when you verify with show ip bgp command i can show you that output here if you try to see this output here now here I got an output which is going to show you whenever we are implementing BGP normally we use a command called show IP BGP summary or show IP BGP neighbors to verify the neighbor information if you want to verify BGP table we need to use a command called show IP BGP now here you can see this I I represent these routes are origin code and these routes are learned and advertised in BGP and these belong to the same autonomous system number because you don't see any of the as number mentioned here which means all these routes are originated from the same autonomous system number and then you'll see the next stop information and when you see next stop 0000, 0, 0, 0 you have to understand it is your directly connected interface so for every directly connected interface my own network we have a next stop will be always 000, 0, 0 which means uh, it is a directly connected interface and then you will see this origin information here these routes belong to the same as and then if you see here this is also i i means routes learned through bgp 
but it is coming from AS 64997 and then going to 64998 and then finally reaching to my autonomous system number and then some of the routes you can see some of the routes you can see some question mark here now which going to represent that it is coming from 64998 AS number but that AS is actually redistributing that route those routes into BGP which means these routes are not advertised in BGP they they are actually redistributed into BGP now origin code mostly AS path information you'll find here and also origin information you'll find in here and the next stop information you'll find here the next stop behavior or next stops you can see here apart from that you will also find some other attributes like uh, metric we call it as MED I'll give you some introduction in our next videos local preference which we will again see in our next videos weight that also will see in our next videos again these three attributes other also attributes which can also be used which can also affect the best path manipulation and whenever you see something called I like here you can see this I it's it represents that this route is learned from within the same autonomous system number and when you see uh, when you see here you can see some asterisk now asterisk represents that it's a valid route here you can see a code is valid and when you see best greater than symbol it represents the best like here if you try to observe this output now in this output the same network is learned from two different hops like this 10.97 97 97 is going is all is learned from uh, 172 31 1.3 and also learning from this four but out of these two this route is considered as the best route because because of uh, whatever the metric like wills as of now this AS path is same but the best path will be indicated with greater than symbol now this again I'll give you more in detail information in our next attributes next videos with practically just a um, information and route ready you can see route ready process is same like OSPF it automatically takes the highest type of the loop back if there is no loop back highest IP of the active physical interface now this is a sample BGP show IP BGP output where you will find AS path information origin information and then next stop information here apart from that you'll also see some other attributes